Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to a special edition of Ride Free with George. We have <laughs> Joyce Omondi in the house. That's it, Kokazi. We are taking her around for special deliveries of high products. Joyce, how are you? I'm good, George. Eh? How are you? Karibu. Man, it's eh. so good to be in your cab eh. today. Yes. Thank you so much for the, taking me around. We appreciate you as well. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, this is something special you're doing. Yeah. Actually, and we'll get into that. Ladies and gentlemen, you know Joyce Omondi. Definitely. Uh, you've seen her on TV. <laughs> She's the host of Full Circle with Joyce on Switch TV. Gospel artist with a newest single. Sita si, 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 si Ugopa. Sita Ugopa, yeah? that's right. Excellent. Yeah. So <laughs> you know her, folks. You know her. Karibu Joyce, thank and you. thank you for picking us uh, as, as your ride of choice today as you thank do your special you. deliveries. Thank you. I'm honored. Fantastic. <laughs> now, also, mm. also, Joyce, a little bird told me ah. that it's your birthday. Is it <laughs> tomorrow? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> folks, I know you'll be watching this late in the week. But tomorrow, which is Tuesday, is Joyce's birthday. So I'll be the first to do this, Joyce. I want to do something special. Okay. And maybe you can consider me for a collab. Okay. <laughs> All right. What to sing? Let's do a birthday song. <laughs> and by the way, I have Janet. I have Kama in the back. Team Uhai recording the whole thing. <laughs> Janet, karibu sana. I'm not used to having a co-driver like any leo nanfanya kazi mzuri. I'm appreciative of that, yeah? All right, so I will sing. This is a solo. No one wow. else is joining me. Wow. <laughs> I need to capture this for myself. Yeah, yeah. so, uh -huh. and you will tell me. Uh -huh. Happy birthday to you. Oh. That collabo is calling, Joyce. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Woo, say Woo. it. Happy birthday, yes, dear sir. Joyce. Woo. Woo! Happy birthday to and it's birthday, it's not birthday. <laughs> birthday to you. Welcome, oh, Joyce. How are thank you? Thank you. That was very sweet, George. Uh, thank you. You're you. <laughs> for myself. A few voice lessons. <laughs> nah, and I'll get there and maybe you can you consider me. You got <laughs> How have you been, Joyce? I've been very well, we are seeing that uh, blessings upon blessings. Eh? Wow, uh? yeah, it's Te only God's grace. Yeah, tell us a bit about what we are doing today, actually. So, today, uh, we are actually making some special deliveries. Um, so I was uh, announced as the brand ambassador for Kenya for Uhai Hair, which is a company based in the US that does you know natural hair care course they were inspired by some time that they had spent here in Kenya hence the name Uhai. Um, so you know in the lead up to birthday tomorrow we decided to uh, just kind of celebrate some of the people who've been purchasing products and so people had the chance to order online using my code and then with that um, we're making these surprise deliveries of whatever they ordered they just didn't expect that it would be me personally delivering them yeah <laughs> okay joy so let's touch on how you became uhai's brand ambassador sure. and what uhai products are just a glimpse yeah so uhai products um once again are actually it was founded by this couple and one of the things i love about uhai is that it's black owned and female owned so it's a husband and a wife team led by the wife she actually has like i think a science chemistry background um so her products are actually really formulated with a very deep knowledge and understanding but um Basically, a year ago, they were here in Kenya, at least the husband was, and they reached out and just asked for a meeting. And we just connected from that. It was literally our first and only meeting <laughs> um, that we've ever had. Uh, but we just really connected on, I think, our values and as far as hair care and our hopes and desires as far as, you know, the natural hair community, especially here in Kenya and in Africa as a whole. So um, we just had a really good conversation. Um, they went back, you know, I kind of went about my own business then earlier this year They reached out again and um, we just decided to take the conversation forward and then uh, Before we knew it we had crafted um, 
this arrangement that we currently have right now as far as me being there brand ambassador here in Kenya. So it's been a great opportunity. I really want to thank all of my fans and everybody who just follows me on social media and loves on my hair care journey because um, my hair certainly has gotten a lot of love from people because um, I really think they're the ones who made this possible. Um, so I'm excited to just, you know, use the products and show people how I care for my hair. I get a lot of questions about it. Um, it's been almost a five-year journey now for me so um, I'm just kind of excited to just share what I've learned along the way. Joyce you're, you're, you're involved in a lot of things brand ambassador for Ohio, uh, uh prominent presenter on TV gospel uh, artist and a few other things that you do how are you able to manage all these things? I think for me the biggest thing is just um, figuring out like what I prioritize um, but I'm also a big believer in purpose and living out your purpose so um, I think God has blessed us all with something to do and I just want to be a good steward of whatever he's placed before me and allowed me to do so um, I'm a big planner like I really do like to plan my time I'm not a random like last minute type person that just does not work for me um, so planning and then prioritizing but you know what George big up to you too because you're doing many things too you're a dad your husband you're here doing ride free with George yeah. you know you have an, an audiovisual company so imagine it's not a tea, it's hard people are doing it everybody's doing it in their own right it's just I guess mine is a bit more out there because it's a bit more public facing but yeah that's how it is just prioritizing and planning and just God's grace at the end of it all now let's take it back a little bit mm -hmm. Joyce uh, in terms of your start I mean gospel musician you went to school abroad yeah. but then you came back and went back yeah. and you and came back and again. came back again exactly <laughs> and actually the second time you went out you went to uni for your masters yes uh, very well known respected well respected university Hoyas, Georgetown oh yes <laughs> wow what informed that I mean you were well to do I guess um, you know well, career wise well I guess so for me okay fine I, I, I guess I grew up um, in a very multicultural sort of environment and part of that um, was also just seeing how other people were very proud of their countries and of their heritage and you know us as Kenyans sometimes as kids you'd ask us that same question and we just wouldn't have very positive things to say so um, eventually I just went off to college and at that time I wanted to be a diplomat because I love to travel and I, I was so set on I want to show Kenya in a different light uh, but as I was studying I got into economics as part of my coursework um, and then ended up double majoring so I did a double major in economics and then in international integrated international studies I came back to Kenya and somehow landed an opportunity a career opportunity with a USAID food security project it was super intense but I loved it um, I really enjoyed just kind of working with um, communities to really try and you know improve their economic well-being so my boss at the time he was Ethiopian was just like you know what there's something with you you need to go to school and you need to do a master's so uh, he's the one who really encouraged me and he kept being like and don't apply to a small school he's like you need to think big because my college was very small when I went to college in the States very small school but he's like you need to think big make sure you dream big and apply to a big university so I applied to Georgetown and John Hopkins which are basically the number one and number two schools in my field and by God's grace I got into both um, but at the same time that that was happening, I randomly got this opportunity to then host a TV show on Citizen, <laughs> which is a gospel music show. So I decided to defer for a year. Georgetown accepted. And so that's how I stayed to do the show. And then exactly one year later, I left to go to school like I promised. 